Hello, everybody. Welcome to the movie you've all been waiting for, Minions. No. I thought they were waiting for, like, Morbius 2. Well, we're still waiting for that one, yeah. But this one we've been waiting for since, like, five years ago. <laughs> this, in fact, is my favorite movie. This has all of the Minions lore that we tried to figure out when we were watching Despicable Me, but we couldn't quite do it. This is going to answer all of our questions that we had in that original video. Yeah, our questions like... What are they made of? Do they have bones? What, what are, are they, they eat? eat? And are they actually invincible? And how many genocides? Sides they committed. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to that later. Let's get into this. <laughs> Oh, this is already a good start. Whoa, it's a single cell organism. Wow, guys, this is actual proof of the evolutionary theory. No, you know what this is? This is bubble tanks from uh, the hit website addictinggames.com. So they're slowly evolving. Why didn't they keep evolving? They reached peak physical form. Obviously. The ideal being. I don't know who looked at my ankles and thought, this is where evolution should stop. <laughs> yeah, at minions. My God, who enabled RTX on this? I hate it so much. Every Illumination movie kind Kinda looks like it was rendered in a game engine. It all looks like PS4 concept footage, like when everything had to be really shiny for five minutes. Boss! How do they know the word boss if English hasn't been invented yet? They invented English. The minions invented English? They don't speak English. They officially speak minionese. They just said the word boss. Yeah, it's like a combination of a bunch of languages. It's like all the romantic languages plus like two English words when it's convenient. <laughs> This is how the dinosaurs went extinct. Yeah, minions. As we're seeing right now, the minions have basically been involved with every single major event in world history. So the minions traveled back in time. We're adding time travel to this? We might as well. <laughs> they build the pyramids. If they're about to build the pyramids, I'm gonna leave. Oh. No, the minions owned slaves. Yeah, I'm not big on the whip here. Okay. Okay, so they built the pyramid. Did they? It looks like they made it fall on all those people. No, no, see, they had the blueprints for it. The minions made the pyramid in order to kill the Egyptians. They bounced from one evil boss to another, but they never seemed to find their perfect fit. <laughs> you might have found a good fit in the 30s. I don't know. Yeah, that's what we're getting to. <laughs> the minions had no other choice but to keep moving. This is how they explain this. During recent history, they were just hiding in a cave very conveniently. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were doing. This sounds like typical history rewriting to hide the true terror of the minions. <laughs> I like the idea of the minions being the ones to go on the crusades. Like the minions themselves wanted to take back Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it Christmas? Be because there's snow, like- I guess. Yeah, so they're very conveniently left out of the last 150 years of history. Yeah, because, you know, probably don't want to, like, explain what they were doing. Yeah, they should have. I want to know about civil rights movement with minions. The South would have won if, <laughs> if the minions hadn't been <laughs> hiding. The minions were, like, part of the Confederacy. <laughs> Running across the fields of Pennsylvania, and it's just a minion. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much to do in the 20th century for these guys. There was about 15 regimes they could have killed for. <laughs> Where did they get the metal to forge those goggles? They were born with the goggles. It doesn't lens at all. Their eyes are just in the front of the goggles. <laughs> I hate that. What happens if you take the goggles off of a minion, though? Uh, you remove their eyes. Why does Bob have two different colored eyes? So you know which one he is. He was in the war, Bren. Okay, why does he have two different eyes? He was in the war. That's the only explanation we get. Which war? All of them, apparently. The minions were involved with every war. It wasn't in World War II. Every war prior to 1861, roughly. What? Did they Skyrim horse themselves up the mountain? <laughs> Go around it. They are on a journey to find their new boss, and the new boss could have been on top of that mountain, Jude. Can't wait for them to, like, stumble into modern New York City or some bullcrap. <gasps> Hey, look, it's modern day New York City. I mean, it's not quite modern day. Who is Richard Nixon in the Despicable Me universe? That's my question. This is a documentary. It's like the lizard people that they don't want us to know about. <laughs> 
So they've been in a cave since the Napoleonic Wars and came out in 1968, and they're not confused a little bit. Jude, you have to remember, they're time travelers. They've seen all this before. In this movie, the memes just kind of accept whatever is happening to them. All they care about is finding a boss. They don't care about all these new things around them. <laughs> Why does the leather need to look this hyper realistic in an animated movie? What in why? Um, it's because this is real life, Jude. <laughs> they filmed this in 1968. I told you it's a documentary. Where's the interviews from the minions? That's the narration. <laughs> What gets me a little bit more is no one's like, oh, that's a little weird when they see a minion. Wouldn't they be in like U.S. history books, or like world history books? Wouldn't it be a big deal that they disappeared for a really long time? And then when the world needed them most, they finished. <laughs> what part of the world needed them the most, Bryn? Northern Europe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a nuclear bomb. Yeah, exactly. Why are you broadcasting to television? It's a secret channel that you have to... You can only access this channel by holding an umbrella on top of an old TV. You just have to happen to do whatever this is, and then you get the villain channel. <laughs> Scarlet Overkill! <laughs> and it's like a wrestler entrance. The Undertaker! This is basically where the Despicable Me type villain stuff starts, where all the villains are just wrestling characters or like just big celebrities, stuff like that. Get to Villain Con this weekend. Only at 545 Orange Grove Avenue in Orlando, Florida. In Orlando, Florida. There's no better place at all. Let me do it. Better. Would you pick up the minions on the side of the road? I'd run them over. <laughs> I would be just really confused. Okay. Sure. Glad we came along before some weirdos picked you up. I'm still confused as to why no one is like, what are you? <laughs> These like three jaundiced orbs are just in your car and you're like, huh? The jaundice orb. Even if you knew them from history, what are you doing here? Because you know, they're always associated with like the most evil person around or whatever. Unless they, they've been just whitewashed out of history somehow. <laughs> I can't wait to rob the bank. It could be the first first financial bank. I think there was like brand name banks in the 60s. No one in their right mind was robbing a bank in 1968. Like, I mean, it was before like security cameras were super common. Yeah, but like the police would just shoot you. You know, there were phones. It was a little harder to get away with it. Orlando, coming soon. No, that looks like Orlando. Yeah, flat and awful. Wasn't Disney here by 1968 or like a really early version of Disney World? Any evil talents? La, 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 la. That's not evil or a talent. So that kind of shows that the minions don't actually have any talents. They're just invincible, which is the only thing that is good about them. Gru can just kind of chuck them at a wall and they're, they, they're fine. They're durable. That's all that matters. It's strength and numbers. Villain Khan uh, presents our keynote speaker. <laughs> Scarlet Overkill! Yeah, if you announce her name in that voice one more time. <laughs> it's the late 60s, they say everything like that. The world's first female supervillain. First female supervillain? Really? Bonnie and Clyde are shaking right now. See, there's been female villains, but there's never been female supervillains. Ah, uh, what makes her super? Uh, <laughs> and when everyone's super, no one will be. What if I were to tell you that I am looking for new head? How convenient for the minions who are looking for a new boss. They went from like Europe to New York to Orlando and just ended up here at Villain Con. A lot of stuff had to line up for that to happen. It's because they, they have a sense for evil. Yeah, the sense drew them to New York, which it probably should have in the 60s. And then it drew them then to Orlando, Florida, which it probably should have in the 60s. Well, just take it from my hand and you've got the job. <laughs> That just like cut all of his internal organs at once. <laughs> yeah, for real. Invincible, I guess. Minions don't have internal organs. They're all just mouth. <laughs> they're all mouth? They're like a balloon. They're just completely hollow. That's why they're so dumb. Buckle up, boys. Next stop, England. Oh God, not England. Gross. Ew. Anything but England. No wonder she's so evil. She's from England. I don't want to go to England. I don't want to be British. 
<laughs> why, did, why does she fly like a thumbtack? What is that? It's a lightning bolt with no wings. Oh, and no cabin pressure. There is so much force that it doesn't need wings. It's just... How does this fly? How does this fly? V tall. The thruster is on the back and it is going up. Uh, it flies like a star destroyer. There is no other way. No, you see that that lever? That lever is up and down. Also, everything in this universe is so top heavy that it would just explode. <laughs> Oh, look, it's Large Benjamin. I'm sure no one is noticing this thing in the sky. <laughs> it's so thin that they can't see it. I can see it right now. I would have thought they would have gone with like a 60s spy trope and gave it like the cloaking device and it looked like a sleek jet. But no, this is just a spike. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's so conspicuous. Her evil layer with like an S on it. Is anything illegal? Nothing is illegal in Britain. <laughs> So we say that there's a finite amount of them, but there are a lot more minions than that in Despicable Me. Like a lot. It's kind of like the train cars in Polar Express. <laughs> they just keep appearing and disappearing at random. <laughs> oh God, the tape deck room for some reason. It's the giant Euro Rex simp. He's going to make some music. What are you doing that's evil? Yeah, the H stands for music. Well, remember synthesizers were thought to be evil at first. So, you know, it's... Fits. Okay, okay, so she wants to steal the crown from the Queen of England? Is that what we're getting at? Yes. Okay, so she's gonna get away with that because... Um, the minions are gonna do it for her. That's why she's gonna get away with it. So when she wears it, that's not a problem? Yeah, this movie is kind of weird because if you haven't noticed yet, nothing really feels connected to each other. It's really convoluted and I feel like it doesn't make sense, but okay. Oh, what if the minions were in New York? And then what if they were at a villain convention? And then what if they were at London. It's just like a big run-on sentence of a plot. Okay. Uh, this is the home of the Queen's crown that I'm assuming is on display. I I'm gonna be real. There's no way they just put the actual Queen's crown on display. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, love. Gold bar? What is this? What century? This lady's like, okay, I'll just go sell this. <laughs> buy gold, it always holds its value. Buy silver right now. I'll buy gold, invest in Ethereum. <laughs> It's a good thing the crown gets lowered into the basement or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's more gears doing more stuff. We love gears. We love machinery. I have yelled the word gears in one of our videos way too many times. I guess the crown is not on display when the queen needs it. She never needs it. Our editor hears this song and he's like moshing right now. He's not about to pull up King Arthur's... Tiny yellow traitor! <laughs> oh god, she's gonna fly the spike at them. <laughs> she's gonna stab him! She's gonna stab him with her spaceship! That has like the integrity of a paper airplane at best. Well, I don't know what that is. Why are they in Australia? How did you get down there? They landed in Sydney. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is so real. This is so real. That's not how anything works. Thomas, draw a line on a map between Australia and India. Oh my God. I knew it. I knew it was stayed. <laughs> it's literally a stayed. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a room. <laughs> that is literally the definition of a stage. Did I just hear a tiny Wilhelm scream? Yeah, because one of them just... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't this make the airplane, like, crash? It sure would. I love this guy right here who does not care that there's, like, a billion minions. But then there's that kid behind him who's like... <laughs> Okay, why does King Arthur's sword make him the king? Because that's how the legend goes. Pulled the sword from the stone, shall be worthy and have the power of Thor. I don't know. <clears throat> the new flag being a single eye is so creepy. I would want to go to that country for sure. Even though King Bob has two eyes. So why is this sign one eye? King Bob! <laughs> Everyone loves him. 
so much. To be fair, if that was our head of state, it would be so much fun. So we went from them needing a new boss to Bob being the king of England. Yeah, we're about halfway through our run on sentence. Okay, yeah. How do you pitch this movie? They're like the dinosaurs and pyramids and, and vampires, and then they're going to go to New York, and then they're going to go to London, and then Bob's going to be the king of England. Like what? It's like a little kid rambled for an hour and they made a movie out of it. Probably because the little kid that would ramble for an hour is the target audience for this movie. I prefer kids movies when they're like good. <laughs> that's all. That's all I got. I don't know. We're watching an Illumination movie, Jude. What did you expect? Illumination, more like Illuminati nation. King Bob, you cannot just abdicate the throne. There are laws. <laughs> Mm, he just sentenced a man to life in prison. King Bob has officially changed the law. How did you just do that without like support? Yeah, well, he he pulled he pulled Excalibur from the stone. Therefore, he can do whatever he wants. I want like a millisecond paragraph from Thomas about how the entire parliamentary system works and why this would work or wouldn't. <laughs> really fast, right now. <laughs> I'd rather watch it full instruction video on industrial equipment then listen to them sing again. I'm gonna put my head in that guillotine. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I hate you. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Nothing personal, but you are the worst beings I've ever encountered. After they changed the law to make you the queen? He literally just gave you the country of England. Hangtown population. <laughs> Movie ends right there. <laughs> What is that gonna do for them? They don't have necks. They are a neck. No, you can't <laughs> choke a minion. You would have to like juice one like a grape to actually kill them. Why is it screwed in like that to where gravity could just slowly make it kill someone? Yeah, that's why these don't get hung up like this for this exact reason. Not the exact reason that minions would run on the top of it, but that gravity would slowly unscrew it. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were made specifically for minions to run on top of them. There's so much tension in this scene. I love it. I'm really engaged right now. I'm really, really engaged right now. Also, this is intense because they explode in like every scene. So like, what, what am I afraid of? He's going to fall 20 feet. So the two other minions got captured, but Kevin is just still hanging out. Oh my uh, what? Which one shall I kill first? What does she think she's going to do? They are invincible. Literally, not a single minion has ever died. One, according to the first Despicable Me movie, is somewhere in space, but he didn't die. They can survive in the vacuum of space. <laughs> Ultimate weapon initiated. <laughs> Big minion! Big! Big minion! Okay, why is like all the skin in this super smooth, but then they go hyper realistic with all the rest of the textures? Like that was so overly realistic for no reason. Kevin. That is such an uncanny sight. Just giant Kevin on the mountaintops. Especially just, since like his surroundings look photo real. I, I, I can't wait for Cloverfield 3 with giant Kevin as the monster you barely see. <laughs> All the events that led up to this. Yeah, so we started with a T-Rex and now we're stopping a woman from becoming the Queen of England with a giant minion running through the streets of London. This is so real. White Flash, the movie ends. <laughs> Just turns into like a little skeleton. <laughs> well, you weren't wrong, dude. All right. In the nuclear bomb, please. Yeah, you watch the minions, just their skin just vaporize away into bone. They just, they just all turn into goop. Kevin the White. This is how he comes back after dying. Okay, this is kind of kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Like this bit. Dude's like, finally, something I enjoy and it ends. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah, the idea of the parachute being picked up by wind every time it's about to land is kind of funny. Child, 
Give me the books. <laughs> so is Minion's Rise of Gru where this one leaves off? Yeah, so Minion's Rise of Gru actually has the chance to have a real story, unlike this movie, where things happened to the Minions. Yeah, I give this movie like a score out of 10. It would have been fine if they like committed to one of the ideas they had. And they were like, all of them. Just start the movie with them finding Gru or something. Would have been better than whatever that was. It needs to be a trilogy. <laughs> it's probably going to be. They literally could have just started the movie with like the, oh, this is where they came from and they're looking for a new boss and then they meet Gru and go on whatever the story is for Rise of Gru and it would probably would have been better. Well, if you want us to watch Rise of Gru, let us know. If you like this, don't forget to lick this video and don't forget to subscribe to see more minions. Have a day.